Okay, welcome back to a new tutorial in the GN4 11 tutorial series. So in the previous video, I explained already why GN4 is important, what you can do with this. I gave a short motivation. And now in this video, we will really directly dive into the topic and continue with the installation. Um, yeah, you can actually use uh, any terminal for that in, Win in Linux, whatever you prefer, for example, Gnome Terminal or Terminator. Here in this case, I'm using the terminal, which is built in um, Visual Studio Code, because later we will use also Visual Studio Code to design our own projects. So it's just beneficial from my point of view to also use it now already. And I also want to show you which system I'm using. Uh, and by this, I will type in here LSB uh, release minus A. And you can see I'm using Linux Mint uh, 21.3. And this, of course, correlates also to a certain Ubuntu version. So if you use either of these two versions, you are safe and you can directly copy and paste all the commands that I'm actually typing in now. If you have a slightly different version or maybe another system, um, then, for example, CentOS uh, or Alma Linux uh, or any other system, uh, then maybe the package names will change and you have to slightly adapt them. But um, if you want to be on the safe side, I really recommend to use any of these stable systems here. Yeah, and now it comes to the real installation. So I don't want to do this in the home folder or in any other folder where I uh, need root access. So actually, I usually create a folder uh, in that, which we can, for example, call software. So I will write here, make directory um, software, for example, with capital S. And then I will go into that uh, directory, uh, which should be empty, of course. And now we will download here the GN4 installation file. Or maybe what we can do before, we can just create another directory inside that we call maybe gn4 and also go into this folder and then we can download the file here to make sure that we separate gn4 from any other software that we want to install later. Yeah, and when we want to do the installation, uh, we have to go to the gn4 homepage and uh, the link for this will be uh, given in the description of this video. Uh, or you can just Google for that, of course. And when you come to the main page here, you can find directly here a link uh, which goes to the download page. And yeah, here you see different type of downloads, um, which makes it a little bit complicated sometimes. However, the easiest possibility that you have is to download the newest version, which is in this case GN4.11.2.2. And uh, then you can see here the, the headline source code and different download options. So if you use um, Windows, maybe I would suggest zip, but since we are using Linux, we can also use this uh, compressed tarball here. So I don't want to download it directly uh, by left clicking on it, on it, but actually I want to copy the link and download it in the terminal. So what we can do, we can click here with the right mouse button, uh, copy the link, and then we go back to our terminal and then we can write here the command w get and then copy and paste our uh, command, uh, our URL. And if we have done everything correctly, then we can just press actually uh, just return and you will see that now everything is downloaded. If there is any error message, yeah, you can of course either download it directly from your browser or you maybe have to install wget, so what you can write, sudo apt install wget, and uh, then of course insert your password. And uh, in this case, you can see it's already installed, so there's nothing left to do. Okay, now we have to untar that file. First, we can check whether it exists, so we can type in ls and we can see that it, it is there. And now we can actually write tar xz F V and then the file name uh, by using tab for auto completion. 
and it will take a few seconds I think to untar that. Of course you can also do uh, all this in, in your desktop environment uh, using uh, GUI tools but I really like to use the terminal because it's just completely reproducible and you can even write a bash script that can do this for you. Um, if I have the possibility to do that I can maybe also write one and insert a link into the description. So now um, we can see if we type in ls we have a new folder in that which we can access uh, by uh, uh, writing cd gn4 v1122 and again ls and we can see all the files were um, successfully um, yeah, extracted. So now we go again one folder up by writing cd dot dot and create a new folder here which we call gn4 v1122 uh, minus build and then we can also access this folder and uh, we can now do our configuration. So there are different possibilities uh, to do that. Uh, of course what we need in any case is actually CMake uh, because this is a CMake configuration in order to create a make file we have to first CMake it. If CMake is not installed on your system, you have to write sudo apt install CMake. And because I usually like to have a GUI within the terminal, I also write CMake curses minus GUI. Yeah, I recommend both. And as you can see, I have already installed both of them. So for me, there is nothing left to do. Otherwise, the installation process would now have to be done. So instead of just writing cmake, I use now the GUI by writing ccmake uh, dot dot slash gn4v1122. And you can see the GUI doesn't show anything, it's completely empty. But if we write c or if we type in c for configure, we can see now that the configuration takes place and we can write type in now e and uh, check all the different possibilities uh, that we can adjust in our installation. But before we will do that, uh, I want to press Q to go back into our terminal. And because we have to just, we have to uh, install a few packages uh, still. And since I don't want to type all of them in this terminal, I will just copy and paste it from a text editor. Um, and I can just briefly go through them. So we have to write again sudo apt install. Uh, this flag minus y is just to install it without asking for, um, for uh, confirmation. And now what we need to install CMake, this we have done already, so we don't need it. Then we have to install our compilers, G++, GCC. Uh, bin utils is I think recommended by GN4. Uh, libx11 and libxpm. Uh, the development packages and I think here we can already see that many of these packages that we have to install are just related to visualization. Yeah? libxft min, uh, minus dev libxext development libglue this is especially important for um, OpenGL uh, libjpg uh, libpng libtiff uh, all this is related to to um, yeah, output of, of certain uh, pictures that you want to create. libgif, libxml, libssl, um, uh, fft and also there is one and I think this is the most important one here in this case um, which is called libqt 5 core 5a and as I said if you have another Linux distribution maybe it, uh, it is called differently but in Ubuntu the newest Ubuntu version it's called like that. And um, the reason is the reason why it's important is because uh, we need it in order to have really a kind of uh, interactive uh, OpenGL uh, 3D view of our geometry. Yeah. Okay. So when everything is done uh, and everything is typed in, you can just press return as usual. And since I have installed already everything, uh, the installation does not take place. Otherwise, now it would take a little bit time to install all these packages. So now we, what we can do is again writing cc make uh, dot dot gn4 v1122. 
And uh, now we can see uh, that we can activate a few things. For example, QT is something which we should uh, activate. We could also activate, for example, Open OpenGL X11. Um, if I'm not completely wrong, it's even necessary to do that. Uh, we could also activate Ray Tracer X11. Um, and what is very important that we have to install data. Whether you want to use multi-threaded version or not uh, is actually up to you. Uh, the standard in the past, the standard configuration was that it switched off. Nowadays, it has changed and it switched on automatically. So we will also keep it on. It will not have any disadvantage. And now we also have to set the folder in which we want to install GN4. So we press enter and we can write here, for example, uh, my home directory, home, uh, Mustafa, uh, software, GN4 and then auto completion GN4 build already exists and we will call it now install to make sure that we are not installing it in the same directory. Then we press C for configure and it will take a few seconds. And you can also see that here actually one package is missing, which I have forgotten to install. So uh, lib xmu is missing. So we can go again out into our terminal and write sudo apt install lib x mu dev. In principle, this should be the package that we need. Um, so this is actually the, the type of error message which you receive when the package is not installed. And now again, we can go, uh, we can type in cc make and again, we can write or type in C for configure and now you see everything works well. So now we can do it once more um, to make sure that all the data is loaded. And uh, yeah, then in the next step, the only thing which we have to do is to type in G for generation. And uh, now it, uh, when we take a look at our folder, we can see that now uh, the make file has been created. So now we can just type in make minus j and since i have four cores in my uh, computer i can just simply type make minus j4 which fastens the simulation and you will see that uh, the download will take some time the packages are quite huge uh, several gigabyte as far as i remember you also need a good internet connection if you want to do that and you can also see the installation itself will take some time so in this case we cannot do anything else we just have to wait and uh, then we will continue with the installation when all this is completed. Okay, we will skip this whole process and now we can see that the compilation is actually done. So um, what we can write now in the next step, if everything is set up correctly, make install. And now we can see that uh, the installation works much faster because the compilation is done already. It will still need a few minutes, I think, to copy all the data files into the right folders, but um, it is much faster compared to the compilation. Yes, and it is even much faster than I expected. So now we can go one folder up and we can see now that we have here our install folder included. And if we go inside this folder, then we can see that uh, we have a bin folder for the binaries, uh, an include folder, a li library folder and a share folder. But in order to use GN4, we have to tell Ubuntu now in this case um, where it can find all the header files and libraries, uh, the include path and the library path. So we have to source a certain file. So in this installation folder, we go into share and then we can see another folder which is called gn4 and in this we can see another folder called gn4 make and in this gn4 make folder there is a file called gn4 make.sh so we have to source this one if you want that this is done automatically whenever you open a terminal and this is very beneficial because then you don't have to source it manually all the time so we can actually go to our bash rc in this case uh, uh, or for example we can write it in this way home mustafa 
dot bash rc. And here you can see I have done this already. Uh, I create an, an alias, G, which I call gn4make. And then it is actually sourcing. So you can write either dot or you can write source. Uh, and then it takes in this uh, folder together with this um, shell script. And in order to test it, uh, we can now write gn4make and everything works well. It doesn't give any error message. Okay, so now after the installation is completed, we can go back to our gn4 folder in share and see that there is another folder called examples and this we can open. And here we can see different examples and we will start with the basic one because I think this is always the first one which we should test in order to make sure that our installation was successful. And in this folder we can find several folders and we will go to folder B1 which is the most simple one. Yeah, and then you can see that here again uh, we have uh, a cmakelist.txt. So for testing purposes we will right now make dir build and then we will go into this build folder and we write just simple cmake dot dot and we are not getting any error message. So now uh, we can check again which uh, files are created and we can see there is a make file. So now what we write is make and the compilation of this example will be done against gn4. So now uh, we can see that there is a new executable called example b1 and this we can just simple run with dot slash example b1 and uh, yeah and then here it seems to work. So now what you can see here is uh, our example. We have a world volume with two arbitrary shapes inside and uh, you can see here this axis and a little bit more text. And we can also click on run beam on and it creates some gammas as you can see here. Yeah, so this was the most easy way to test it. Um, of course, we can also use more complicated example. You can test it yourself and check other examples as well. But I think uh, this is actually sufficient for the first video after the installation is completed. And then in the next video, we will finally start with creating our first project including different um, yeah, user-defined uh, functionality and see how slowly we can develop our own GN4 application. Yeah, and by this I uh, want to thank you again very much for your attention and hopefully see you soon for the next video.